Beer and Sass versus Beer and Lemonade. Another groundbreaking review from Tazdaz. G'day all, Tazdaz here again. Welcome to my latest video. Thanks for stopping by. Today, posh beer. Is it such a thing? Well, it's probably not going to be really posh. We're starting out with our good old Tazzy Bogues Draft. Yeah, you're normally either a Bogues person from Northern Tasmania or a Cascade person from Southern Tasmania. I'm from Southern Tasmania, so this is very sacrilegious. Please do not roast me in the comments. But what's going to be even more sacrilegious is we are going to do is beer and lemonade, which is your typical shandy better or worse than beer and sarsaparilla. So that's why they're posh. We're putting some sarsaparilla in one and some lemonade in the other and we're going to try them and we shall see which one I prefer. So I've got my two beer mugs. So each mug is going to contain one full can of Mr. Bogue's Draft, which is in their classic can, by the way. Very special. As I said, it's very posh. In goes said can of beer. I think I know how to pour a beer. I've done it a couple of times. So we're going to get, oh, we'll take a sip out of each of them. So that's one done. Let's get the other one done. Oh, I love that sound on a Friday night, that's for sure. What do you reckon? Okay, said kind can into the glass. Can you hear that pouring sound? Nothing beats that on a Friday night. Cracking a good old frothy. So there's our two beers. I am going to take a little sip. Yeah, don't mind the old Bogues draft. As I said, please don't roast me in the comments. Little bit for the chef, they say. All right, so, and we're also using Schweppes, none of this home brand or diet stuff. Schweppes proper lemonade. Let's get that one open. Oh, nice pop on that one. So, into the first glass. Oh, a little bit of spillage, there we go. So there's our shandy. Mm, smells quite nice. My um, pop used to always love a nice shandy on a Good summer's day, nice and refreshing. And now, yes, we're going to be doing a sarsaparilla. A very divisive drink, like Dr. Pepper. I think you either love it or you completely hate it. And there it goes, sars into the beer. Am I a madman or a mad genius? Let's find out in a minute. All right. So there they are. Let's get a nice thumbnail picture right there. All right, so there's our two beers. Sass and lemonade. All right. So let's just try the Bogues on its own. Excuse me while I indulge myself. Nice and hoppy, bit of bitterness. Not a bad drop. All right. First up, I'm going to give them both scores out of 10 and see which one wins. What do you reckon? Leave a comment down below. Which one would you drink? Would you even try either of them? The Shandy. Oh, that's nice. A 
So the sweetness of the lemonade really adds to it, takes away the bitterness, takes away that hoppiness, makes it really good. I can see why my pop loved this on a hot summer's day. And it's a boiling eight or nine degrees here today. Bloody winter in summer, I tell ya. Now, who has ever had beer and sass? Me. <laughs> I looked it up on Google, I couldn't find anything about it, there's nothing on YouTube, so here we go. Beer and sass, let's see what that's like. Mm. Again the sweetness with the sugar, got that nice sass barilla flavour, and um, hmm completely different to the original beer, completely different to the lemonade. Another sip. Mm. I'm just going to give the shandy one more go. Wow. It's going to be a close call very close call so the beer and lemonade would definitely be better on a hot day the beer and sass has that really nice sarsaparilla extra kick in the flavor to it for me so i'm going to give the shandy which is the beer and lemonade nine out of ten really nice really refreshing and certainly something different but not as different as the beer and sass, which I'm going to give that one 8 out of 10. Not as nice as the shandy, but still very drinkable. So there you go. Beer and sass versus beer and lemonade. Another groundbreaking review from Tazdaz. <laughs> if you like the review, please give me the thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. 3,000 subscribers. Oh my gee. I can't believe it. Thanks to Dave's Dinners. What a legend. I'm going to do a video for you soon, Dave, so stay tuned. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. If you like the video, please give me the thumbs up. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I shall see you on some future videos. Bye.